Hello everyone, I am Southern Star 71. You can see the three tin out tanks that are full. Two of them house live animals. The one in the middle currently is just loading three clutches of mystery stale eggs. The first clutch I tried to leave up for two full days. When I woke up, it was already in the water. So I don't know if it's going to be viable or not. The other two clutches were left for about 36 hours when they were pulled. Those two should be good. It was pretty much clutch, two days later clutch, two days later clutch. So we might have a good number of mystery snails. There's five along with some shrimp. In the tank, you can really see right here. And there's a five with eight guppies in this tank right here. The guppies are two males and six females. I do have some floating plants in the two tanks. Well, I actually have floating plants in all three. But mostly in the two tanks that have the live animals in them. They did come with some ram's horn snails, mostly in this tank right here. Should be okay, in my opinion. I'm probably feeding just a bit too much, but I'd rather feed too much than not enough. I need the shrimp and the guppies to continue to grow out. I do think one of the shrimp is buried. So we may have an explosion of shrimp. We'll find out soon enough. The earliest of the clutches would be Halloween Day. That's the one that fell in the water. I'm not sure, like I said, if that's going to be viable or not. I doubt it. But we're still incubating it like the other two because it's not much of a hassle to incubate the way I'm doing it. Also, if we do get some viable snails from there, it will increase my snail population. Like I said, I have five and five. Now, all three clutches have come from the tank right here. We have to get a clutch from the other tank. With five, I should have at least one female, you would think. We'll find out. They may not be old enough. I do have, of the three clutches that were laid, the first clutch was the biggest. Unfortunately, like I said, it fell in the water. But I was trying to go two full days. And the day and a half seems to be good enough for them to harden up. So, that's my fish tank update. I do plan to fill the 20 gallon, which you can see. Here, it's on the bottom of the rack. I do have like a fish room downstairs for when I thought I was going to be doing a lot of fish. I'm not sure now that I live alone if I want to go up and down the stairs. I haven't had the stroke, my balance is like, and it's more. Exacerbated from going down and up. Going up's not too bad. Going down the stairs. I have to be real careful. But if I get lights that turn on each day, all I have to do is go downstairs once to make sure the lights come on and feed whatever down there. I do have a propane heater. You can turn that back on. And I have a dehumidifier. To remove any excess water in the air. And it's a green board on the inside instead of a regular drywall. So it's made to handle the moisture. But that's been a long time since I've had any tanks down there. I even had a central air system. Ran off of one large pump from Jibco. And we had a stock tank. 
not a psychic, a tractor supply, like at least 55, if not 150, that we heavy pump in to refill the tanks. Yeah, it was not too bad. But if I do decide to go up and down the stairs, it'll be mostly for crowd tanks. And uh, might look to get some bins. So we'll see. For now, though, I'm having fun with these snails, the shrimp, and the guppies. Just the, the bearing shrimp to produce. So I'll have plenty of shrimp. And then get them to grow out. And more shrimp. These snails, I think. Two of the three clutches will be viable. Hopefully, we can increase our snail population from 10 to several. Like, if I can get into the 40 or so from this first three clutches, that would be great to go from 10 to 50. Anyways, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for notifications to get notified when a video goes live on the channel. I'll be looking to do some more fish content in the future. The takes are a little, the water's clear enough, but like I said, I overfeed, so I don't know really if I want to share that too much. But we may do some cell phone videos if stuff works out thank you very much have yourself a great day and goodbye